it's good for us to be here today again. It's a real blessing for us to be again live sharing with people, you know, the word of life. But before we go any further, we'll just have a word of prayer and then we will proceed. Father, we thank you today. Thank you for this time. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Father, that the entrance of your word brings light or sheds light. Mm -hmm. And so, Father, that's our desire today, that your word will shed light in the path of all our eras. Mm -hmm. Bless our time. Illuminate our understanding mm -hmm. as we speak and as others listen, mm -hmm. that we will all come to an understanding that is based on your words. Amen. Bless our time now, Lord, as we commit our time to you. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You know, last week, Sunday afternoon, we had a wonderful discussion yes. on a particular topic in light of what is happening in the world today of the virus COVID-19. We had a wonderful discussion on the topic. And we had a topic responding to crisis in troubled some time. Last week Sunday afternoon, we looked on that topic. We covered a number of areas. Our desire is simply this, for the people of God to get a better understanding, to be able to study the word for themselves, to be like the Berean Christians who went and studied the word of God. And so at this time we are going there today. There are some things that we had looked on and some passages that we want to, to cover today, all right, for our errors today. All right. And so with us again, Deacon Robinson, again welcome. And Thanks. it's a privilege Thanks, you know being with you and listening, you know, as you share and expound on the things and on this topic, a very very important one, I believe. Well, let me. Well, before I start, do you wish to say anything at this time? And then I, I just want to say um, uh, good morning and, and 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 thanks, Pastor Lewis, for allowing me this privilege to share with God's people. You know how we can really examine the Scripture for ourselves and to really learn um, what God says about responding to crisis in difficult times. Thank you very much. And that's our aim. That's our aim. And so we're going to, again, pick up. Yes. All right. From where we have left off on a few areas. There are some references. There are some references that were not dealt with mm -hmm. in our last discussion. Mm -hmm. Could you respond to those passages at this time? Okay. So you can just share the passage and respond to them. Respond to them. Okay. Yes. Well, um, as you know, there are number number of passages that were mentioned by the speaker. Um, and, and today we want to take some time in, in looking at those passages to see if, remember, you know, that what he was presenting, and, and for those who, who were not on with us last week, um, what was discussed is that a, a, a well-known speaker was promoting or uh, pronouncing that the way to get out of a, a national crisis was to sow a seed, was to, to, to sow financially, and we'll be able to, to get out. And Pastor Lewis um, and I, we were discussing that uh, last week. Uh, one of the passages that he had mentioned uh, is the passage in, in 2 Kings 5, verse 15 to 27. You might remember yes. Pastor Lewis as... It, it speaks about the story with Naaman, Naaman, Naaman the leper. Because what the speaker was talking about is that, see, even, Le even Naaman brought a gift, brought his money. But as we, we looked at it, we see where Naaman could not pay for the blessing because the man of God, the prophet, would not allow him to give him anything in return for the blessing. Yes. Because Naaman felt as if he deserved this. You remember, Naaman was a bit offended at the fact that uh, the prophet 
Elijah did not come out and speak with him yes. and and also that he sent him to to dip in a in a in a river that wasn't so much of his of his standard and so he was um upset about that but but i think we should allow all of scripture to speak um when we're examining these passages so i would invite us and invite your listeners um or those who are viewing us to get some more insight to this particular story as we look at the story jesus speaking of the story in in luke chapter 4 verse 24 to 27 yeah. very interesting jesus tells us in 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 luke watch what's the context here in verse 27 the text says then he said to them talking about uh, jesus surely i say unto you no prophet is accepted in his own country but i tell you the truth Many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah when the heaven was shut up three and a, and a half years and there was a great famine throughout all the land but none of them was it but it says but to none of them was Elijah sent except to Zarephath so 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 in this particular story that was referred to the giving that the speaker is talking about did not bring national deliverance no it was a personal deliverance i'm a matter of fact, I'm a matter of fact this story in in first kings chapter 17 when you look at verse 6 god used ravens to sustain the prophet Ravens to bring him food in the morning, ravens to bring him food in the evening. Then after that, God used in, in verse 7, God used the brook to sustain him. The brook um, that he could be, be, be quenched and, uh, and so on. But later on, God used a widow to sustain him. In verse 8, we find that um, the widow was used to sustain him. But God, verse 9 tells us that, God spoke to the widow before he sent Elijah to the widow. Yes. Now, this is important because the, the, the widow was not just responding to a prophet. She was being obedient to, to God. God. Yes. Right? And so, this is what we need to take into consideration as we examine these passages. Now, look at this. Jesus says to us here, that many persons were there in the land who had leprosy but none of them were, were healed there were other widows jesus said and many widows but he was only sent to this one yes, widow yes. right so 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 what was happening here is that god was showing his sustaining grace in the midst of a problem situation this was not an, a, a, a national deliverance because there was still hunger on the land yeah. as jesus was pointed out there was still no water mm -hmm. you understand so this was a personal deliverance was god was showing favor to a person in 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 spite of the, the crisis um that was happening so that particular text should not be used to generalize um, on a national scale. from on a national scale. And and then again, this was not them giving to 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 get out because as we we said before that the, the prophet did not receive any gift from Naaman, yeah. and Naaman was nevertheless healed and delivered. And and the and and Gehazi, who was a servant of the prophet, who insists that he should benefit. Um, from the blessing that that Naaman received, he was plagued by the very leprosy that Naaman was delivered from. Right. The the, the other passage that was mentioned um, last week uh, that talks about money money answered all things. Yes. Right, and it's found in Ecclesiastes ten hmm. and and nineteen. I, one question I would have to ask there is, is does money solve all problems? 
does money solve all problems? And and but you and I know, yes, Pastor, that, that no. the answer to that is no. Because there are a lot of problems that money can't money solve. cannot solve. I'm gonna have there are a lot of rich people, billionaires that are having more problems than some of us yes. who do have a lot of money. Yes. Right? So 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 it is a fact that money doesn't solve um uh, all our, our problems, right? So even though money can be used to get people to help us, it cannot be used to get people to heal us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Nor can we insist that our money should get God to heal us. Because we can't, we can't pay God to Amen. heal us. Amen. Right? Amen. Um, the, 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 the other text that was mentioned also is, I just want to go through them yes, quickly yes, so that man. we can move Definitely. on. Um, in Exodus 25 and, and, and verse 1, where here we find in the text, God had commanded the people to give a, a free will yes. offering. offering. Yeah, you yes. re remember yes. that text, Pastor? Yes. It, where it tells us in, in from verse 1, where it says, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they may bring an offering from everyone who gives it willingly Willing. with his heart. You shall take my offering. And this is the offering which you shall take from them. No, this, remember, <laughs> this was used by the, the speaker to talk about, uh, to, to, to giving us the, the, the reason for, for which he asked for a specific amount. Yes. Remember, he said that he's asking for this, this 19 US or, or 190 US yes. or 19,000 Jamaican or, or 1,900 Jamaican. 19. Yes, yes. Because, and he said that Based on, and this was the text that he used to yes, justify it, yes. because God had told them specific things. But what he missed was this. Watch this. So the text says in verse 3, And this is the offering which you shall take from them, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen, and goat's hair, ram skin, dyed red, badger skin, and acacia wood, oil for the light, and spices for the honor, anointed oil, and for the sweet incense. He, he continued to mention the different types of things that they should use. No, these things, the text says, were used for the furnishing of the temple. Yes. The, te the text says that these things... God, they were not in a crisis. This was not, not a, a crisis, crisis situation. No, so they were no. not giving to get out of a crisis. The scripture tells us in verse 8, And let them make me a sanctuary mm. that I may dwell among, among them according to all that I show you. So here, this the text tells us that this was a free will offering that they were allowed to come to the Lord and give. Because they were... There was no compulsion yes. in this gift. Is that they would give according to what they are able. And it's to, very important that it says a free will offering. Definitely. Definitely. Um, but, uh, uh, another passage that was mentioned is um, the passage in Second Samuel 24, uh, 15 to, to 25, where it speaks of David's uh, See, no, this is a very, very interesting passage of scripture when, when, when we look at it. Because here, the, the, the speaker insists that most definitely this is evidence for, for uh, sowing to get deliverance. Here, we mentioned that it, it was a situation where David had sinned against the Lord. God was, was, was punishing um, the land and, the peop and people were dying. The scripture tells us in verse 15, So the Lord sent plague upon Israel from the morning till the appointed time from Dan to Beersheba. 70,000 uh, men of the people had died. Mm -hmm. And when the angel stretched out his hand over Jerusalem to destroy, the Lord called out to the angel and said, Enough. Enough. So, so, so he had stopped destroying the people. So the Lord sent God, and um, that's a prophet, God, yes, yes. G-A-D, to, to, to speak with 
uh, David and tell him what to do. He said to him in verse 18, And God came to that day to David and said unto him, Go up and erect an altar unto the Lord. Watch this. We find in verse 22, when David came to Aruana to purchase the threshing floor, that Ariana said, no man, um, you're the king. Yeah. You're the king. Whatever you want, you take you it take and go do your thing. Yes. And David said, no. Mm -mm. I will not give to the Lord that which caused me nothing. David simply said that because God had commanded him to, to, to make an altar, to, to make a sacrifice. This wasn't just the, the, a, 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 an altar of praise. It was an altar because of his sins. Mm -hmm. The text tells us in, in, verse, in verse 24, Then the king said to Ariana, No, but I will surely buy it from you for a price. Nor will I offer burnt offering to the Lord my God with that which cost me nothing. Listen to this now. Mm -hmm. So David brought the threshing floor, bought the threshing floor, um, and the oxen for 50 shekels of silver. And David built there an altar to the Lord and offered burnt offering and peace offering. Notice, burnt offering and peace offering. So the Lord heeded the prayers of the land and the plague was withdrawn. It is the prayers, it is, is the repentance that God saw. Yes. Yes. So God relented because of the repentance. repentance so yes. that offering that we see was not just about bringing money to God. Mm -hmm. that, that is misunderstanding yes. um, the text. Then he, he mentions uh, Psalm 96. 96 yes. No, we do have time <laughs> to read the old, yes. the old uh, passage. Um, but let me just zero in on the verse that he's making reference to. That he's saying, aha, here is evidence that, that we need to sow. Mm. No, the whole, and, 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 and believers, please, read it for yourself. Read the passage for yourself. It was, a, it was a, a, a passage of praise to God for his goodness and for his grace and for his greatness. Mm -hmm. And here we find, and the verses that he's referring to, listen to verse 7. It says, give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Listen to verse 8. Give to the Lord the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. <laughs> No, this is what he has sliced out of the entire passage of praise and thanksgiving and coming before the Lord and celebrating yeah, no. his goodness. So what is this offering talking about? <laughs> is this, so, so how do we get this, this offering to say that you need to sow so to be delivered? delivered? This has nothing to do with, with, with deliverance. This has nothing to do. I'm not this has to do with the fact that they have come out of, 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 of problems and they are giving good. thanks and Amen. celebrating Amen. God's goodness. Amen. Amen. That's what the text is talking yeah, about. The passage is very clear. Very, very, very clear. clear as we look at it. Very clear. Um, he mentions also uh, 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 another one in, in, in Luke. And yes. this is very interesting. Yes, yes. Yes. Here he talks about uh, in Luke chapter 7 and verse 1 where he's saying that, listen, God actually through Jesus Christ, uh, J Jesus Christ healed this particular man simply because he built uh, a, a synagogue, synagogue. Yes. <laughs> for the people. And, and yes. so God basically appeared him back. Listen to the text. The text tells us our, our situation. You, I, I, I'll just ask our, our viewers and listeners just to, to look at it. To look, yeah, right. The situation is that the man had done some, some good things for the, for the people of God, for the Jews. He was a centurion. He had a, ser a servant who was sick, sick near in death. Mm -hmm. Right? The situation is that the, 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 the Jews whom the centurion asked because he didn't consider himself worthy. The man himself did not consider himself worthy. Either. In verse 6 and 7, I mean, the scripture tells us in verse 6 that then Jesus went with them because they were telling him um, 
before that listen this man deserve it you know mm -hmm. the Jews them mm -hmm. they too misunderstand this thing about yeah. about grace you know they were saying listen this man has, has done things for our people yes is that even one of us and he has done things for our people he's for us him love the Jewish people so him deserve the blessing yeah, yeah. You, you see yes. Rev? Yes. so, yes. so yes. them them don't understand grace no this man seemingly had a better understanding of grace because listen to the man then jesus went verse 6 went with them and when he was already not far from the house the centurion sent friends to him saying to him lord no matter worry yourself i am not worthy him said no but i trouble yourself come on my house yeah i am not worthy no they might say he's worthy you know? and he's saying he's <laughs> and he's saying that he's not worthy i am not even worthy that you might come under my roof but not only that he went further him said therefore verse 7 therefore this is why i did not even come myself mm -hmm. and he mentioned again because i am not worthy No, what amazed Jesus, and on, and on the two uh, places in the New Testament we see, um, um, it, it tells us that, that Jesus marveled. Marveled, yes. Hmm? Once um, with a lady who demonstrated great faith, great faith, even though she was not of the people of God. Yes. And here is a similar situation. So this man said, he gave an example. He said, Jesus, listen, you are a Lord. I am just a, a centurion. I mean, when I command my soldiers, I say, do this, them do it. Them do it, yes. So if I have that authority and you are of a greater authority, just, just say, say the word. word. Yes. No, he was depending on God's grace because he's already saying that he's not worthy. worthy. So he understands by what means he's delivered mm -hmm. or him get blessed. Yes. Right? By yes. God's grace. grace. And this text tells us that when Jesus heard these things, verse 9, he marveled at him and turned around and said to the crowd that followed him, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, mm -mm, not in Israel. So the point of the text is to present the fact of one, without faith, it cannot please God. You, we cannot please God. Yes. And two, it is that everything that we receive from God is by grace through, through faith. faith. Correct. Everything by grace yes. through, through faith. faith. And he yes. understand that um, very well. Now, here is an interesting passage that he mentioned. The John 11 text. Mm -hmm. The John 11 text, verses 1 to 4. Mm -hmm. He talks about um, the fact that Jesus had to raise Lazarus from the dead. Yes, Remember that yes, one where he, he mentioned, yes. The, 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 the sister gave a great, great price. Yes. The, 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 what the, what the yes. speaker said is that, no, no this is serious, Bridget. Mm -hmm. The speaker was saying that Jesus had to raise Lazarus yes. from the dead. Why? Because him owe Mary. Yes. Yes. Oh Mary, oh, because Mary mm. um, anointed his feet the alabaster with box, the alabaster yes. box yes. with their fragrance, which was worth one year's yes. wages. Yes. And that is why Jesus had, had to. to. But that's nonsense. Yeah. When we look at scripture, let us look at the text. Yeah. We will find the text uh, in, in John, John, John chapter 11. And we pick up the reading from verse 1. Let us allow scripture uh, to, to speak. The scripture says in John chapter 11, verse 1, Now a certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, uh, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary who anointed the Lord with fragrant oil and wiped uh, his feet with her ear. Now, this text is pointing out for us to know which Mary, which Mary is speaking of. Mm -hmm. yes. Because there are several mirrors several in, 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 yes. in scripture, right? Yes, yes. Therefore, the sister sent to him saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. What a wonderful answer to the question. Mm. Why did this happen? 
Not because of Mary. Yeah. Not because of any connection yeah. to her gift. Or any of the connection. As a matter of fact, it, it did not, even though the text said um, that Jesus loved uh, La Lazarus, the text is not just pointing so much to the love of Lazarus why he was delivered. Yeah, Watch this. The text is pointing that God had a purpose and that is why Jesus waited a couple yeah, more days. Correct, correct, <laughs> a couple correct. more days. Yes. So what? So that uh, 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 Lazarus would have died so that God would be glorified as yes, we find in verse says, 4 yes. so that the Son would be glorified through it. Yes. 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 And, 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 and so that is the purpose yes. and the reason why Jesus uh, did that miracle. So it had nothing to do with the, the alabaster box that was broken. Nothing at that, all. Because what was said, Jesus had to raise yeah. him because of that. Yeah. Not true. Yeah. Not true. You see, my view you know, is that if a prophet has a, a dream, mm -hmm. let him tell him Let him tell him dream, yes. But if we, if we have the word of God, yeah. let us speak, speak the word of God, God faithfully. Yes. I mean, that's what yes. we find in Jeremiah. Yes. Right? Um, let, we just look at, at, at two other references. Right? He, he also turns to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 16, uh, verses 16 to 17, which um, he claims gives support to the sowing to get out of, of a of, crisis. Of a and here we find in, in Deuteronomy chapter 16, verses 16 to 17, and it reads, Now, these were talking about different feasts, right? And Jesus was giving instruction to his, to his servant as to what must, be doing at, what must be done at the Feast of Tabernacles and, and, the, and the duration that they should last and so on. Now, his reference is in verse 16, which says, Three times a year... All your meals shall appear before the Lord, your God, in the place which he chooses. No, he uses that phrase to say, and this is why he's commanding them. Yes. So, so he is telling them where yes. to go. Watch this now. At the Feast of Unleavened Bread, at the Feast of Weeks, and at the Feast of Tab Tabernacles. He's listing the different things, right? Yes. And they shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. Now, this is what the prophet, the, 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 the gentleman who was presenting, insisting, see it? And he says, see it? Don't come before God, God without an offering. offering. Yeah. But he neglected to read the other verse. Yeah. The other verse says, every man shall give as he is able <laughs> Yes, yes. No, yes, no. Yes, when he used these yes, verses yes. To, to insist and tell us, but he is telling us how much, how we, much should we should give, give to the Lord. Yeah. And the Lord is saying, Say it, allow is people able. to give to the Lord as they are able, in light of how God has blessed them. Yes. You understand? Yes, so, yes, and, yes. And, and, and again, remember what these, sir, what these references supposed to have done was supposed to present to us evidence for sowing to get to out get of a national crisis. crisis and they don't because yes. this particular text is not even talking about national, national crisis. crisis yeah that has nothing to do with nothing the national to crisis. national it was yeah. talking about god giving instruction to his people as to what should be done yeah. at the feast and the duration yes. of the feast and so on yes right so as we look mm. we realize that this is why it is very important brethren very very important that we we check the thing for ourselves right yes we check the thing yes, for ourselves yes, yes. so so we have looked on a number of passages that were used mm -hmm. to to justify yeah. the whole point of giving or sowing or you know in order to come out of a national crisis yeah. and we have looked on those passages and none of the passages in its context is saying that them, all right them. when we analyze them none of the passages in its context yeah. is saying that that's not what they are saying right, right. so all we are saying to the people of god be like the berean christian mm -hmm. to look into the word to study the word 
and to understand the world a little more deeper. Now, okay, since we have looked on those and we recognize that those passages are, they are not saying that. No. That, that's those, no. those are clear. They are not saying that. All right? And so we have dealt with those passages. Now, we want to give the people a better understanding then. So, can you share then some references that will be able to help us to respond in national crisis? Because the ones that were shared, it's not speaking to helping and coming out of national crisis by giving. So, can you share? No. Okay. All right. Thanks, Rev. Um, the scripture gives us um, some references that we can actually see national crisis national right crisis. And, and and we can just look at a few and see exactly um, what the people did um, first of all as we look at uh, second chronicles 7 and 40 yes, yes. here is a well-known well known. Um, um, verse that speaks to a time of crisis yes you know speaks to a time of crisis and the people <laughs> they needed deliverance and, and, and God was telling them that deliverance can come, mm. but it must come his way, his way. Yeah. you know? Yeah. And, and so God said to them in verse 14, um, if my people who are called by my name mm. would humble themselves yes. and, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. Then. <laughs> then will I hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and heal their lives. So, so our land can be healed. Amen. But it means that we must turn to For, God. Yes. yes <laughs> turn yes, to God. Yes, uh, so, yes, so, so, in yes. a national crisis, and that is the consistency I see in scripture. Scriptures, in yeah. all of the the, 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 the the references that has to do with national crisis. For example, when you look in Second Chronicles 15, from verses one through uh, to 15, uh, when it talks about the people were were in trouble. No, they were in trouble because the text tells us that it was God mm -hmm. who troubled them. Who troubled them. <laughs> yes. it, was yes, it was God who, who, who troubled them. them. No, why did God trouble them? Why, did, why was God causing trouble in the land that caused a national crisis? Because the people had turned away from the Lord. And, and this is a feature in scripture, you know, where time and time and time again when people turn from God, when the people of God turn from God, that the Lord would allow, yes. whether it be a plague, whether it be yeah. um, other nations to so, persecute yes. them and, yes. and, and, and so on. Yes. I, I, and we find that a lot. We find also in, in Numbers chapter 21, here and again was, was a crisis. It was a crisis because thousands of, of, of Israelites were dying. It speaks of the, the situation where they were in the desert, yes. when they were complaining uh, against God and complaining against the servant of God and saying that it better if they leave we don't have Egypt. <laughs> no. Yes. These are the very persons, Rev, you know, who cried out while they were in Egypt. Yeah. Cried out saying, Lord deliver us and God delivered them. And so they were being ungrateful here. No. Between four and nine the scripture tells us that watch this. God spoke to his servant and God said to his servant, This is how they are going to be delivered. I want you to make a bronze serpent. I want you to put it on a pole. And it shall be that whosoever is stung by any of these snakes. Remember, those who get stung, you know, will die. Mm -hmm. But they can live. Mm -hmm. But here's how they have to live. They have to look. And as they look, mm -hmm. they yes. would live. And, and here, what the, the symbol here was a bronze serpent. Now, this bronze serpent is... Uh, um, is, is referred to by Jesus in, in John chapter 12, verse 32 to 33. Mm. He also says it in John 3 and verse 14, where he says, If I be lifted up, I <laughs> like, like this, the serpent was lifted up, was raised, was put on a pole, yeah. and that bronze serpent was, the bronze here was a serpent that was, all, that was already judged. Yes. Eh? Yes. So it is that judged serpent. So, so, so here in the context where Jesus is, is likening himself um, to the serpent, not in, in a sense that he was the was wicked and evil, yes. but the means of salvation. Yes. It, was, yes. it was that which was already judged, bearing the judgment for us that mm. brought healing to us, right? Yes. So if I be lifted up. So, 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 so the context here, every, but I thought, jo, Jonah, 
in, in, in Jonah, yes. right? Yes, <laughs> rebellious um, um, prophet. Jonah was sent by God uh, from from chapter one. From chapter one, he was sent by God to to, to the people of Nineveh because the, the people of Nineveh was extremely wicked, mm -hmm. a wicked set of people, and God had sent um, Nineveh, sent Jonah. Jonah to Nineveh. Jonah didn't think that they deserved the grace or the mercy of God, and so he ran away. He must say no. Um, anyway, he went through some difficulty because God troubled mm -hmm. <laughs> his situation and his circumstances. No, when we look, uh, if we could just uh, turn the when when we look at at at, at the situation with. With Jonah, we find we find in chapter three, where it tells us in verse five to ten, it tells us that so the people of Nineveh believe God, and proclaim a fast and put sackcloth mm. from the greatest to the least of them. Then word came to the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne and laid aside his robe. Even the king. Yes. Even the, the king have to come down. Yes. Those in high places. Yes. If we are going to see healing come to the land mm. in a national crisis, then we all need to come down. Mm. We all need to, 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 to see ourselves and to see our God mm. and to repent. Because here the text tells us that mm. when they repented, because the king proclaimed through all the land mm -hmm. that everyone should repent to turn. Then God, look at this the verse 10. Then God saw their works that they had turned from their evil way. Mm -hmm. And God relented from the disaster that he had said that he would have mm -hmm. brought upon them. So all that he would bring upon them. Him now I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because the people turned to God. So what is consistent from all the passages that you have shared mm -hmm. is that we have seen in all the passages that there's always a sense of brokenness, yes. Yes. repentance, yes. a looking to God by faith yes. that brings healing to a nation. Yes. In none of the passages, mm -hmm. and these are serious passages that yes. deal with national crisis, Definitely. but in none of them we have seen where anybody give anything. No. To be delivered. No. What we saw is a consistency of brokenness, repentance, looking to God, Definitely. and God acted. Definitely. Um, the, 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 the sowing that I know about is in Isaiah uh, 10 and 12, um, in the time of that they were having crisis, and 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 God spoke to the the, the prophet and tell them that they should. So in righteousness, in righteousness and reap yes. in mercy yes. <laughs> that they should break up their fire grounds. Yes. Mm? yes. Yeah. So uh, I'm a dapper. We of course we see we, we see offering in terms of the crisis, mm -hmm. but the offering that we see is like we find in Second Chronicles 20, from verses six to twelve, and that is a picture mm -hmm. where three different nations were coming, coming against. against King yeah, Joshua, remember that, yes, and and, and yes, he didn't know what to what do, to and do. so he lifted up his eyes. Yeah, eyes the text people. tells us, yes. and the text tells us that he looked up to God and he said, "God, we are helpless, we are powerless, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you." So it is a total surrender to God, responding in the crisis. Then you, you, you can't so financially. To get out, it is not true. Cannot be born out from scripture. But but you do believe in seed sowing, though. I do you, you believe, do believe I in do offering, believe in and, and you do believe in time. Of course. So so that's not what you're of saying. Course. No man, no okay. man, no man. Um, I mean, I mean, anybody who really love God and anybody who appreciate what 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 Jesus has done for them, mm -hmm. um, will give. Yes, will give. You don't have to pump them and trick them and force them. Yes. They will give. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. So, so we have looked on a few scripture that deals with some crisis in the nation. And we have seen what is consistent that in all of those situations, there was a sense of brokenness, repentance, a looking to God by faith. And what happened? The Lord intervened. We have seen nothing about giving 
so that you can get back healing out of those texts. Mm -hmm. All right. No. Let me answer the final question. Um. No. Why? Why deal with this issue from this platform? Why? Why we couldn't just deal with it in our churches? Why? <laughs> Why, why, why dealing it on this platform? We want people to get the reason for dealing it from this platform. Okay, I think it is crucial um, because um, the minister, while he was um, giving his, his his way out of crisis um, as a nation, he was speaking in reference to speaking for the church. As a matter of fact, he told all pastors yes. and and yes. ministers and teachers. If if, if 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 you didn't say anything before, yes. so shut up now. Yes. I am representing yes. the church. No, yes. well he's not representing God's church as yeah. far as I see it. Yes. As it pertains to scripture. Yes. And if you're not speaking the words of God, you're not rep Represent. representing God's church. So where does presenting um what the word of God says? Why do it here? Because that was done on a pub in the public domain. That was done in the public. I give you an idea of, of, of why it must be treated this way. Yeah. Right? Because the gospel is at stake. The gospel mm. is in jeopardy. Yes. <laughs> Look at how serious the, the, the apostles take this thing. In, in Galatians chapter 2, Galatians chapter 2 and verse uh, 11, um, here we find a situation where Paul had to rebuke peter yes no this is a chief apostle you know peter no the text tells us that before the 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 the, 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 the believers from jerusalem came those who came from from james right mm. leaders in, in 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 the church um peter was okay and quite fine with eating and and fellowshipping uh with the the the, the gentiles <laughs> but listen to this but the text says he had to blame. Paul said, ah, Peter was to blame because there was a, a, le a level of hypocrisy. Because when the Jews came about, the, Peter was now withdrawing himself because he don't want to be seen yeah. associated with them. Yeah. So Paul had to, to withstand him to the face, to rebuke him to the face. Because watch this. It was also affecting even Barnabas because yes. even Barnabas yes. drew away too. Yes. Right? No, watch this. Paul could not have pulled Peter aside to deal with that matter. Mm -hmm. Paul had to do it there because Paul is saying, no, mm -hmm. this, for everybody to see, see yes, that this yes. doesn't represent Jesus. Yes. This doesn't represent what the Lord is saying, that what the Lord wants us to do. Because then the people would have thought that, so that is how it is. Mm -hmm. Because they would not have known if Paul drew him one side and talked to him about it. It was done in the public domain. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be treated in the public domain mm -hmm. for others to know that no, this does not. Because the gospel was at stake. Mm -hmm. and, yes, Paul, yes. and Paul was saying, no, you can't have this. We can't have this. And this is why we are seeking to treat with this in the public, public domain. domain because it is not a private matter. No. This has gone all over the world. Mm. And some persons are, are bashing the church. Yes. And so the church, them, them. The, yeah. But this does not represent what God says. And, and, and here is why, um, Pastor Lewis, I am, I, I am, I am, if there's one thing I'm begging your audience, your yes, viewers. Yes. I am begging, I'm pleading. Check us out. Evaluate us. Yes. Search what we are saying it as well. True. Yeah. Check out, check we out. See if what we are saying is true. Because you, you see, no preacher, no prophet, mm -hmm. no teacher, no pastor, no apostle Amen. is above or beyond biblical evaluation. Amen. None. Amen. Because here we find a situation where even, even, even in Acts chapter 17, you know, like the text that you're quoting earlier you know, with the Barian Christians, yes. from verse 11, Paul considered them more, more noble, noble. <laughs> than those yes. who were at Thessalonica. Yes. Why? Yes. Because they were more diligent as it pertains to the word of God. Because when Paul and Silas 
taught them. They took what they heard and they went home and searched the scripture. No, so check it. People of God, check it. Chapter 17 from verses 11 down um, in, in Acts, right? Paul commended them. He complimented them. And so when you find a, a, a believer, a teacher or a preacher who, who is insisting, say, don't evaluate me. Don't check out what I'm saying. Mm. When you, you see, when it, it should cause us to be come mm, a little suspicious. When you find a, a, a teacher who is who is saying and insisting on their position, mm. and so therefore yes. they, they should not be evaluated biblically. It yes. is something that Dangerous. should raise your antenna. When you Dangerous. find a preacher or a teacher who is telling you, no, you don't need to understand um, what the word actually mean. <laughs> like I heard the speaker mention that that the, the, the Greek is no, no, important yeah, and the Hebrew is important. Greek, we don't need that. No, yeah. we just need power. Power from where? Yeah. Amen. Power from where? Because listen, when you find a, a, a teacher or a, a, a preacher presenting his or her authority above Scripture, scripture. it is dangerous. because they want to put their own meaning. That's dangerous to scripture. in Scripture. Yeah, the scripture, the, the scripture commands us in, in, in chapter 2 of Timothy and verse 15 where he, he, he instructs us that we, we should be able to rightly divide the word of truth. That we should study to show ourselves that prove unto God. So mm. I challenge your viewers, I challenge your listeners, check the word so that we'll be able to evaluate them. We're commanded in 1 John chapter 4 and 1 that we should seek to evaluate. evaluate. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Test them. Check Test it out. Them. The yeah. same thing is is, 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 is is found in Romans chapter 16, verses 17 and 18. As a matter of fact, a warning was given mm -hmm. saying, listen, beware of them who will come to you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. You understand? Yes. So unless we take the time out, brethren, to, to check the scripture for ourselves. Yes. You know, to search the scripture for ourselves. And remember, don't make nobody at all tell you, say, yes. you cannot or should not do a biblical evaluation of their teaching. Mm. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. Powerful. That's what we are asking. That's what today was about. Amen. To look on the scriptures. And we have seen on the scriptures that were used did not justify it. Mm -hmm. All right? That we should pay or to give something just in a national crisis to be delivered mm -hmm. but what we have seen throughout, throughout scriptures is a consistency when there are national crises how god said it's supposed to be dealt with we have seen brokenness we have seen contriteness we have seen forgiveness yes. we have seen a look into christ yes. during a national crisis yes. all right and so that's where we are saying the people of god need to look when there's a national crisis that's where we're calling you to study the word so that you can understand the mind and the will of god Amen. let me thank you very much deacon robinson for sharing and for answering these questions honestly mm -hmm. and that's what we're saying to honestly for people to honestly evaluate the word of god or anyone mm -hmm. evaluate us yes. as he said please do so we are not above that <laughs> Please do. And so is no one out there is above evaluation in yeah. spite of the titles. Excellent. Everyone must be evaluated in light of the word. Amen. Don't be too gullible. Search the scripture Amen. if it is so. Amen. God bless you and thank you for another wonderful time um, in the scripture. And God has raised up people like you and many other for such a time as this. Yes, God bless you. Thank you for listening. Thanks much. Thanks much.